Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hey guys, so I want to make a quick video about what I'm making today. Here's a half a white onion. I'm making um, chicken and gnocchi soup. A half a white onion, one stalk of celery, a half a cup of shredded carrots, which I didn't shred myself, I bottom shredded, a cup of um, spinach, and I purchased a rotisserie chicken so I don't have to um, <laughs> cook a chicken myself. Hold on a second. And this is four cups of chicken stock. They said broth, I like to use stock. And also, some minced garlic and a teaspoon of, I use fresh thyme, so I got some fresh thyme from the store. And I'm going to saute the um, carrots um, celery and um, onion in and garlic in a, ta a tablespoon approximately of olive oil then I'm gonna add the chicken then I'm gonna add the gnocchi and all the other stuff and I'll let you know what that is too on the screen okay and we'll see how oh and you need half and half as well all right I'll be right back with you Wow, that took a while because, <laughs> I, you know, I had to bend over and chop this stuff up. But this is the carrots, the minced garlic, which I got from Aldi. You don't have to mince it yourself. You can just buy it and do it the shortcut. Um, celery and um, onion with one tablespoon of um, oil. I'm going to make, going to saute this until the onion becomes translucent. And then I'll add the other items. I'll be right back. So I think it's ready for me to add the broth and chicken and all that good stuff. This is four cups of chicken stock. I got Rachel Ray because it was on sale for two for six dollars. So I got two of them so I have a backup for next time I make some soup. And then, sorry about that. Let me get my time. Uh -oh. I had some beef bacon. Beef bacon. It was really good. Okay, so there's the time. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the phone down and get the chicken put in there. And uh, some salt and pepper in just a moment. Okay, so I've got the salt and pepper added in there. And um, I'm gonna let this come to a boil. And then I'm going to add the gnocchi and the half and half. It's going to start looking like some chicken and gnocchi. There we go. I like to stir stuff up so it looks all mixed up. I know, I'm weird. All right. One second. Well, it's going to be a second to you. It's going to be a few minutes to me. And I'm sorry I keep on saying one second like I need to. <laughs> I know that's annoying. I'm going to try to edit it out. No, I'm not. I'm lazy. All right. I'm going to sit down for a second. I'll be back with you when it starts boiling. We'll add the rest of the ingredients and let it simmer for a while. And then we're done. It's a really simple soup. And then I'm gonna make a salad, but you guys won't be here for that, but I'll show you a picture at the end. Okay, so now that it's boiling, I'm gonna put in the chicken and let it cook for about three to four, well, three to four minutes on boil, and then I'm gonna turn it down to simmer for 10 minutes. After that, I'm gonna add the half and half and the um, roughly chopped, I just chopped it, um, cup of spinach and it'll be done. In the meantime, I'm gonna make my salad. So let's add the gnocchi. I said chicken, but I meant gnocchi. Hold on a second. For those that don't know, this is what gnocchi comes in. Like a, you get in the pasta section. It's Italian, of course. Or you can make it yourself, but <laughs> girl, please. I'm sure I get every one of them out there. It was like three dollars a thing. So anyway, I've got it in there, and gnocchi is kind of fragile, so you want to like stir it gently. Like I'm gonna fold it in. Uh oh, sorry about that. 
and let it simmer. I'm going to put the, um, I don't know why I whisper when I put stuff in the simmer. <laughs> We're going to whisper now. I'm going to put the um, lid on it and let it simmer for 10 minutes for about, I'm going to let it boil for about three more minutes so it can cook the gnocchi and then we're going to let it simmer for 10 minutes. I'm going to set the kitchen timer and then I'll be back when it's time to add the cream and spinach. We're almost done. So it has gotten to a boil so I'm going to put the lid on it, reduce the heat and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Um, let's see, kitchen timer. So that's done. All right. And we're going to let that cook for 10 minutes. And then we're going to add the half and half. And the, and you can use heavy whipping cream if you like to. Um, or milk. Just some kind of cream. I chose half and half because of the cal caloric intake. Um, and then... I guess I could have used skim milk, but I like it to be a little creamy. Anyway, um, so I'm going to add the spinach as well at the end. Because you don't want it to be like the spinach to be all draggy. Anyway, so there's that. And I'll be back on the final, the final countdown. Right now I'm working on my salad. So um, I'll show you that too. Well, I'm not going to show you me making it, but I'll show you the end of product. Okay. Okay, so now we've got it cooked and we're going to put in the cream. And the spinach. I'm going to stir it and be right back. Okay, so I've got the cream and the spinach in there and I'm going to let it just heat that up and I'll be done. Give me just a second. Well guys, that ends the video. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to donate, please consider doing so by hashtag UniDiamonds. And I hope you guys have a great day. God bless. And I'm going to go ahead and get some rest. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.